My name is Jonathan Drury, uh -huh. and I'm with, with the Pan American Health Organization. I'm a climate change and health advisor. So, okay, could you just advise me a bit about your mission here in St. Vincent at this moment? Well, we're here as part of the SEDEMA uh, Rapid Needs Assessment Team. So we make up, we're one of many sectors that are here. We're looking at the, the, the health issues over the next four or five days to see what the needs are and what are the uh, costs associated with that so we can provide a, um, a report that SEDEMA will compile from all the different sectors then to move forward with further supporting okay. the relief efforts. Now this pandemic, has, this, this, this eruption, uh, natural disaster um, is is happening quite in a unique setting of of a pandemic. Um, you know, have shelters where persons are huddled together. You're not you're not sure as to you know vaccination uh, how that is going. How much of a concern is that to to Paho at this moment? Well, we do have somebody on the ground who's been here for a few days, who's a uh, sanitary engineer, who's been doing just that, who's been looking at at shelters to make sure. That, uh, that there is sanitation, that there is water source, um, to, to make sure that there's spacing, issues of hygiene, um, and actually what, what's coming in on the ship now are supplies from Pau that includes water testing kits, goggles, masks, and other medical supplies. Mm -hmm. But um, what, I guess what I'm driving at, I mean, uh, in terms of the, the, the persons huddled together in the shelter uh, and the concern that poses for, for the spread of COVID, has that has that factored in on uh, 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 is on the radar of, of Pablo at this moment? Yes, uh, absolutely. That's why we're we're uh, looking at the shelter situation. Um, but as as to date, there have been no, no no transmission. But that certainly having an emergency within an emergency makes it that much more challenging when responding. But we, uh, as I said, we have people in the field that are doing basically shelter assessments to make sure there are surveillance systems in place so that, that, that if, if there is a case, that it would be detected quickly. Okay. Yeah. And, and and given the fact that this is going to be a protracted issue, is it because the, 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 the scientists are predicting that, you know, this will go on for as long as uh, even a year, um, what what long-term mitigation strategy um, do you think that PAHO can help to put in place at this time? Well, I'm here with my colleague Peter, who's also uh, going to be looking at issues of uh, the, the possibility of setting up temporary uh, hospitals for care. So that's one, one option. I think Pajo has always had a, a strong presence here in, in the Eastern Caribbean and in St. Vincent. So we'll continue to work here and continue to meet the needs that, that, that we assess really this week. So, um, so yes, we, we hope it's not something, as you said, that, that, that's protracted. Um, into the months and months and years, but we certainly are here to support what we find, and, 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 and we're, we're starting that today with bringing in some of these vital supplies and also doing the assessments, as I mentioned, of, of, of health services, the clinics, uh, the water and sanitation situation, and looking at shelters. And my, my final question, um, you have an advanced team here already. What, 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 are, what are the feedback you're getting on the ground? have somebody here that's been doing some uh, work within within shelters and in water and sanitation so we're collecting that there's some uh, there's some water water um, testing being done the results will come back uh, so we're waiting on that to, to, to see really um, about the, if the water is potable or not and so the uh, a lot of the clinics obviously have been have been closed but part of what we'll be doing this week is looking at potentially some of the if any of them are damaged and what those needs are needs for further power supplies that we can bring in as you all know this there are in, increasing cases of um, those that have asthma with, with respiratory problems and other respiratory illnesses so that's another another key concern that we continue to look at